It's been the toughest of years for Nicola Sturgeon. More than 10,000 Scots have died in the pandemic. She's also been dogged by her government's handling of a failed Scottish government complaints process against Alex Salmond. Two women were failed and taxpayers' money was lost. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now Mr Salmond is a political rival too. Scottish Parliament elections just over a month away. It's been a hard old year, but before the pandemic, her minority SNP government had almost four years to make its mark. The defining mission of this government will be education. As for Covid, would she commit to a date for a public inquiry, becoming the first leader in the UK to do so and surely piling pressure on Boris Johnson to do the same? In the upcoming interview, you will hear her answer. First, though, to the salmon inquiries and the words of the women themselves, which Miss Sturgeon has surely reflected deeply upon. You say the women who made the allegations were your priority all along. That doesn't tally with what one of the women said last week, which is that the government, after the process fell apart, your government dropped them. Um, I have said that we let the women down. I've never shied away from that. That was the case in the initial investigation. And I think reflecting on the comments of the women who gave evidence to the inquiry, that was clearly the case uh, throughout the process. That's something I reflect on very seriously. And if I'm re-elected as First Minister, we'll want the government to take steps to address. Questions have been raised about your leadership. Some people clearly think you're absolutely amazing. Um, but I wonder about those voters who say that you're too controlling, too <laughs> autocratic. I mean, why do you think people say that about you? I, I don't know. People uh, say these things and then people say I don't exert enough discipline over the SNP. Look, people can look at me and judge me and make uh, a decision in this election. And given what you clearly think of Alex Salmon, that you said that he has, was a conspiracy theorist at one point, this should be the easiest question for you to answer. Clearly, you can rule out working with Alex Salmon or his party in any way, shape or form. You'll I, completely freeze them out, will you? I, I won't be seeking to work with Alex Salmon. If Alex Salmon gets people elected to the Scottish Parliament, let's not presume uh, the outcome of the election. I, I don't think his new party will help the independence cause. I'm not even sure from his perspective it is intended to do I that. I didn't ask though if you're seeking and to work with Alex Salmond. I asked if you would rule out I've working got, with him. I, will you rule out working with Alex I, Salmond I, I or his not, party? I am not planning to work with Alex Salmond. The, will you the, rule it out though? Look, I, I have no intentions of trying to work with Alex Salmond or a new party. Why not? If you think he is a conspiracy theorist, I'm not, surely you would just say I'm not going to work with this person I, or I his think party. I just did. So that's, that's categorical. I, I think I just did. Yeah. What would you say was the defining mission of your last term in government? It, well, it became to lead the country through a global pandemic. That will be the primary mission if we're re-elected at this election. Uh, but over the whole I, government, what was your defining mission? Uh, to make Scotland a better place to live. To five years ago, you said education. it was education. Well, I was about to go on to that. To improve education, we have narrowed the attainment gap in education. We have improved attainment overall, but there's still much work to do there. And you said judge me on that defining mission. And Audit Scotland, an independent body, have produced a report in which uh, they do just that. And they say that closing that attainment gap between the richest and the poorest children, progress on closing the gap has been limited and falls short of the Scottish Government's aims. So on your defining mission, have you fallen short? Uh, we haven't completely closed the attainment gap. Uh, we have made real progress in that. Like the rest of the world, we have been uh, sort of uh, confronted with a global pandemic which has seen children out of school for much of the last year. So you won't get me to stand here and say anything other than there is a lot of work still to do there. You've set a time frame for an independence referendum, but you have not set a time frame for an inquiry into your government's handling of the pandemic? Uh, well, actually, I had met just uh, a number of days ago with the organisation that represents bereaved families, and what I said to them, and this has been reported publicly, is that it will be a priority, if I'm re-elected, to set and train uh, the steps necessary to establish a public inquiry. I think we're the only government in the UK that has actually said that. Public inquiries do take time to properly establish if they're to do a proper job, but I want to see a public inquiry get underway later this year. Later this year? That's what I said, later this year, yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much, Adiz.